Alright, so these two phones are the same phone, but the one on the right looks like an iPhone. So in today's video, I'll show you guys how to turn your Android phone into an iPhone 14 Pro. Alright, so as you can see, the one on the left is a normal Android phone with Android on it, but the one on the right it has an iPhone look on it. It's actually iOS 15, and as you can see, it's looking really nice. It has some of the features of the new iOS 16 as well, so if you guys are going to stick till the end of the video, you'll make your Android phone look like this as well. Alright guys, I hope you're all doing well. Before we start the tutorial, I just wanted to kindly ask you guys to comment in this video if you want your comment to be shown on the next video that I post, but don't forget to subscribe and like the video, otherwise your comment will not be shown. So make sure to don't miss that chance. Okay, going back to the tutorial, everything that I'll show you in this video will have a link and the link will be in the description box so you don't have to do anything that I don't do, okay? And for the steps that I'll show you, I'll have a list of steps shown in the right hand side of the screen in case I'm too fast, that way you can read the steps and follow everything that I'm doing. So the first thing you need to do is installing an application called Launcher iOS 16. You can download it from the Play Store by searching for it or you can open the link from the description box and you can go ahead and download it. Let's wait for the application to download and once it's complete, I'll show you what the next step is. So as you can see, the application is now installing. I'm going to give it a few seconds until it's fully installed and then I'm going to open the application and I'll show you what the next steps are. So let's wait for the application to load and uh, first off, you have to give it access for location services. Just press on allow and have it uh, granted access once you do that you're gonna go ahead and click on lock screen it might show you an ad just wait for it and then click on the X button to close the ad and you can press on OK now once you press on OK it will take you to the lock screen you're going to install this application as well this will give your Android phone the look that it has on iPhones for example the iPhone lock screen is much different than the Android ones this one will give you that look so the same thing just wait for the application to finish installing and after it's installed I'll go ahead and show you the next step and going back to the application you're gonna click on control center now it might show you an ad like I showed you just close it and then press on OK it will take you to the Play Store and you're going to press on install. Like I said, the steps are shown to you. The, uh, the links for the applications are going to be in the description box, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Now this one is installed as well. We're going to go back to the application and for the final one, we're going to click on assistive touch, click on OK. It will take you to the Play Store like before. You're going to press on install and wait for that to finish downloading. Now, once all these applications are installed, there's a few tweaks and settings that you need to play with, but I'm going to show you everything step by step. You're not going to get lost. It's really easy. In case you're, you're lost, just make sure to rewind the video. That way you won't have to do anything in a wrong way. So give it access if it asks for permission. And then if it shows you an ad, you can just turn off your Wi-Fi or just close the ad. Now, at first, it's going to ask you for auto start. So once you are on this menu, you're going to go ahead and go down below and turn on these features that I'm doing. It's the iOS one, the lock screen, the control center, and the assistive touch. So make sure to turn them on just for the apps that I just showed you. You don't need the other apps to start running. So just make sure to do them for the applications that you just installed, which are for applications. Now going back to the application, it's gonna ask you for permission. You're gonna turn that toggle on, and then once it takes you to the device and app notifications, just scroll down until you find a lock screen, Turn it on if it's off, wait for 10 seconds. Some Android phones don't even ask for this. Some Android phones just give you the option to turn it on. And once you do that, then you have the application fully running. So I'm gonna press on okay. I'm gonna go back to the application and there you go. That one is turned on. It's gonna ask you to also give it access to display over applications since this is going to be embedded into your system. So just make sure to choose lock screen and notifications, turn it on and go back. Like I said, it's a few steps. Uh, you can rewind it if I'm too fast. Otherwise, I'm showing you everything on the right hand side of the screen and I'm also showing you in the video as well. So let's go to the control center, which is the second one. It's going to ask you for display over apps. Just scroll through the applications and find control center, turn it on and then go back to the application. OK, and then it should be on. For the final one, we're going to do assistive touch. We're going to do the same steps. Basically, it's going to ask for display over apps find assistive touch, turn it on, and it should start working. So now you're almost done with the settings. You just need to do the placement of uh, some control center uh, toggles so that it looks 
particularly like an iPhone. So if we go back to control center and if we go to where it says uh, position, just tap on that and then it will give you a few options. The best one to choose in my opinion is right. That way if you scroll from the right, you will have your control center shown. But it's gonna ask you for permission, so just give it permission so that it can fully run. So now if I do that, it should show me the control center just like an iPhone, okay? So this is how you do all the features. Now, I'm sure you don't have the wallpaper for iOS, so I'm gonna have the wallpaper from iOS 16 or from the new iPhone 14s in the description box, so just go ahead and download that. But before you do that, make sure to choose this launcher as your default launcher. So tap on make default launcher, choose iOS launcher from this list, tap on it, and then you will have the, the iPhone look on your Android. Now the only thing that's missing now is the wallpaper. And like I said, I'm gonna show you where to get that wallpaper. You're basically gonna go to the description box, there's a link, you're gonna tap on that and it's gonna take you to the download link of the wallpaper. And that way you can have your iPhone look like an Android phone or your Android phone with an iPhone look. Both, uh, both things obviously mean the same thing. So as you can see, I have all the features now. I have control center, I have assistive touch. If I hold the applications, it will wiggle just like an iPhone. It has uh, force touch, it has 3D touch. It's basically like an Android, uh, like an iPhone, but with an Android feel on it. So this is how it works. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, look. And uh, if you're wondering how you can un uninstall or revert back to your original look, I'm gonna show you that as well. So I'm gonna show you how to revert back to Android in case you're bored with this look or you just want to go back to uh, how your Android used to feel like or you just don't want this anymore. So like I said, I'm gonna make you uh, I'm gonna make your Android phone look like how it used to be. Basically, I'm gonna remove iOS from it. So it's really easy. This, uh, the steps are shown to you on the right hand side as well. All you need to do is go to the Play Store, search for Launcher iOS 16, which is the first application that we installed, tap on it and then click on uninstall. You can do this from the settings, you can do this from your app list, or you can do it just the, one, the way I did. Uh, once you uninstall it, it's gonna ask you for a home app. Make sure to choose your default launcher. Mine is Poco, yours can be Samsung or Huawei, anyone. Any one of it can work. And after that, you're gonna go ahead and choose the lock screen and notification application. Make sure to hold that and uninstall it as well. And you're gonna do the same thing for assistive touch. You're gonna to go to app info. Like I said, you can go from the settings or you can go from your app list. Uh, once you're there, just press on uninstall and it should uninstall. And for the last one, we're gonna do control center, the same thing, uninstall the application and you will have your iPhone look gone. Now, uh, the wallpaper is still there. If you can easily change that as well by going to the settings and then scrolling down to where you see wallpaper or home screen. Once you're there, just choose your wallpaper, the ones that come with your Android phone, and you should have all, everything that you installed removed. So that's it for today's video. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to comment. I'll most likely reply to everything that I get on this video, and I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like. Peace out.